Hello friends, happy Tuesday. Today we are talking all about pendulums. That is what happens when we're trying to spin our poi and uh, they don't quite spin all the way around. So let's tune in and see, yeah? Drex here from DrexFactory.com, bringing the love of poi spinning and flow arts into your world. And I am vlogging and creating a new tutorial every single day through the COVID-19 lockdown. And today we are talking about poi pendulums. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they do to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Oh, so it is cold and windy out on Sunday as I am recording this, which is really disappointing because just two days ago we had like 80 degree weather here in DC and now it's gotten all cold again. So uh, there you go. Still important to get outside even if it happens to be social distancing because, you know, sun and fresh air are good for you and everything. Just make sure that you keep in six feet of distance between you and everybody else. So yesterday, you remember, we explored a concept called timing and direction and specifically we used a tool called extensions for doing so. An extension is just having the poi be an extension of your arm. Clever name that, right? Today we're going to talk about pendulums, which uh, another clever name, it's literally just having your poi hanging beneath your hand as it swings back and forth and everything, right? Some things we are really imaginative about naming and some things we are really not, I gotta say. So like learning how to do a pendulum is not that terribly difficult in that really you're bringing your arm around in a big circle or just like leaving it stationary and letting the poise swing beneath it, yeah? Now, we have spent a bunch of time either spinning or swinging our poi around in a really big arc. And because of that, we've already gotten used to having our poi constantly having a bit of momentum added to it. I want us to pull back from that a little bit because I find that pendulums are a really good tool for beginning to understand how many different types of momentum we can really put on poise we're spinning them. The classic example is what we would sometimes call an extendulum. That is, our hand is moving around in what looks like an extension, but we're making sure that we never put enough energy on it for the poi to get above our hands. We ideally want to see if we can get our poi to just hang out straight to either side and then do a straight line beneath our hand as we do our arc over top, yeah? Okay, so with that information in mind, let's try applying it to all the timing and direction combinations that we learned on Monday, yeah? Starting with together same. I'm gonna have my poi just go around in a circle with my hands here and try and make sure that I can keep the poi heads even all the way around. Don't let one hand get above or in front of the other hand or you will get tangled, whether it's extensions or pendulums, yeah? Remember that metaphor of imagining that you're holding a bowl of water as you go about this, yeah? So of course we wanna learn this going both ways and it's here that we're gonna see for the first time the potential that pendulums really have. Namely, as my poi are going down and around over to my left hand side, I'm going to let them fall straight back the way they just came. Oh goodness, let's do that from the right side now. Mm. Notice how I can take my hands and essentially just drop them straight back down and the poi will just come straight back with them, yeah? We can very, very easily shift from going counterclockwise to going clockwise without too much fuss. We can also do this across the top if we want to. You see that place where the poi are kind of pointing straight out right before they drop down? We can just bring our hand back across the top in order to switch direction off of that. So think that you can switch top or you can switch bottom back and forth across the different directions, yeah? Okay, so let's explore the same space in Together Opposite. And yes, I know Together Opposite may not be terribly comfortable just yet, but bear with me here for a second. Because we want to see that point where the poi both point out in the same direction on either side of our bodies, yeah? Now, once again, I want you to play around with reversing the direction of the poi at either side in order to get it in both with uh, your right hand going around counterclockwise as well, whoo, goodness, as your right hand going around clockwise, yeah? Think counterclockwise and clockwise, going back and forth, right? Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. You notice how in both together same as well as split time opposites, there's that moment off to the side where we can switch the direction of the poi? Well, it turns out that we can also use that to switch back and forth between these two. So if I start off in together same like this and everything, when both of my poi are off to one side, I can boom, separate out my hands going back and forth 
and then boom, let both of my hands drop back down into together same. So I can switch into split time opposites and then back into together same if I so choose, yeah? You can do this from either side because we have that moment where the two hands in poi come together and all we have to do is switch the direction of one hand in order to get there. Literally, that's all it takes. Cool, so now let's take a look at our other two timing and direction combinations. Namely, we have together opposite, which is gonna involve us bringing our hands around in that butterfly-like pattern and having the poise stay below them. Now this gets a little interesting because of course we've got to keep our poi lane separate. So I'm keeping my left hand poi just a few inches farther away from my body than my right hand poi is. And that is what is going to allow me to make sure that they don't run into each other up top, yeah? Now we can also play around with this going split time same direction, which to me kind of feels like I'm walking with my hands and just kind of like, putting my poi down every single step that one of my hands takes and everything. But just like with split time opposites and together same, both of these timing and directions share a moment when our hands and poi are out to the sides, which gives us a point that we can switch back and forth between them, like so. Of course, we can also use these points just as easily to switch back and forth as to which direction we're going. In together opposites like this, I can have my right hand going around counterclockwise and then switch it to clockwise before switching it back again. And likewise, when I'm going in split time same direction, I can make that switch to either side and switch into the backstroke or back into the crawl stroke just as easily, yeah? Okay, so your homework for this one is to be able to do 10 pendulums going either way in together same, as well as together opposites in split time same direction, and of course, in split time opposites. And if you're brave, you can try doing some of these transitions back and forth between together same and split time opposites, and back to together same, or between split time same direction and together opposites, yeah? So let me show you each of those combinations right quick in slow-mo. Awesome. I cannot wait to see your versions of these. Pretty please post videos of yourselves doing these drills to Instagram or Facebook and tag me in them. I am DrexFactor on Instagram and I'm DrexFactorPoi on Facebook. Thank you so much in advance for doing that. And as always, if you want more of this and want to skip ahead to some of the more advanced stuff, you can always go to my website and sign up for my Spin Poi Like a Rockstar course. It is available right on the front page at drexfactor.com. You just need to give me your email address and I will send those lessons to your email inbox. If you are enjoying this project and would like to support it to make sure that I can keep on doing it, pretty please consider signing up to support the work that I do over on Patreon. All these nice people did. They made this video and all of the videos on my channel possible. If you would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You'll get early access to all of my content as well as being able to vote on things like say, hey, I did this odd experiment where I posted a video a day for a week. Should I keep on doing that? And you would have a bunch of people coming back and saying, yes, please do keep on doing that. So yeah, go and sign up, please and thank you. 
All right, so tomorrow we are gonna take a break from our regular scheduled program uh, because Ultrapoi has sponsored a flow video from me. And of course, with uh, times being what they are right now, uh, I would really love to uh, support Ultrapoi as they are supporting me. So tune in tomorrow to watch me dancing in a nearly empty downtown Silver Spring. And we will be back with a tutorial on flowers on Thursday, yeah? Cool, I'll see you then.